Hi, welcome back to Bloomington Tutors. Today we're going to be doing an amortization table. Now, Dunder Mifflin needs to get a loan for a new building, and that new building costs $200,000, and they have a required 10% down payment. Now, the amount that needs to be financed, or the principal, is just $200,000 minus 10% of $200,000. $200,000 minus 10%. Of 200,000. I always tell the students that I tutored that Excel is just math skills but using references and formulas instead of actual addition and multiplication and all of that. So there we go, 180,000. Now I want to know the monthly payment based on our 4.5% annual interest rate in 10 years. So monthly payment formula is PMT. We want to use our interest rate but in years so divided by 12. Then we want our N per. Our N per is our total amount of terms. So 10 years, we want it in months times 12. Now our PV, PV is always negative, and our PV is another word for our principal, which is 180,000. We can close that. There you go. Now in your class, you might not be asked for the monthly payment. You might not be asked for the quarterly, semi-annual, or yearly. So we'll go ahead and do this. So it's the same formula again, whether it's quarterly, semi-annual, yearly, or monthly, it's PMT. So again, we want annual, but we want it quarterly, so divided by four, and per, it's our terms, times four, PV is always negative. So if we're only paying twice a year, it's gonna be PMT, our rate, divided by 2, our terms times 2, and our negative PV again. You're getting the hang of it. Okay, now if it's yearly, we don't need to do any divide by 1 or anything like that, so we'll just reference. And our negative PV. There you go. Now as you can see, our payments got bigger as they became less frequent. Now for this amortization table, we're going to want to use our monthly, which I put here in blue for you. So the first step in doing an amortization table. I have gone ahead and highlighted everywhere you're going to enter in something in gray. All these other steps right here, all these other boxes, they're all just going to be drag downs. So our first step in doing an amortization table is our beginning balance. So our loan amount is not for 200000 180000 because we already paid that $20,000 down payment. First step. Next step is the repayment of principal. That formula is PPMT, and it's the same thing as PMT, but with a little twist, and we'll get to that. So again, our rate, we want it in months, divided by 12. Our per, now N per is our terms, the total terms. So per is just our specific term, which is right here. N per, total amount of terms, we want it in months, and a negative PV. Now we want to do some locking here, okay? We want because we, we want to be able to copy this formula now. Let's go ahead and do our appropriate locking. Okay, we locked the B. We locked BA because we don't want it to move. We locked the D and D6 because we want it to stay right in this D column. We locked B9 fully and we locked B7 fully. And that's how you do that. Now the interest is super simple. All you do is drag your PPMT formula over. If you got the same answer in both columns, that means your locking was done correctly. You change this first P to an I and there you have it. There's your interest. So it's the end of the term. You started off with this much and you paid off this much. So you end with $178,809.51. So if you end term one with this amount, you must begin term one with that amount again. So we just do a little reference there. Now that is how you do your memorization table. We'll just double click everything down. Don't worry, it'll all add up in this end. There's a few little checks we can do to make sure we did our amortization right. Number one is to make sure we got a zero right down here at the bottom. And we did. So that was done correctly. Another one is to add up your repayment and your interest. And if you get the amount you got right here as your monthly payment, you got it correct. So if you double click this one down, you'll see it's the same amount every 
single time. Lastly, we need to know what our total interest we're going to be paying on our loan, which is just our sum again. There you go. So that's the first amortization table. Now I added a second one. It's done the exact same way, but there's a little twist, so we'll go a little bit faster through that one. Again, we have another down payment. You might not get a down payment, or you might. It really just depends. So we want monthly again. It's PMT. Annual interest rate. And per our N per is already in months, so we don't have to do any type of division or anything or multiplication there. Negative PV, perfect. Again, quarterly. And then we want our N per. Now to go from months to quarters, you're going to divide by three, and then PV is negative again. And there you have it, and the amount got bigger. Okay. And now I want semi-annually, so PMT. Now our rate will divide by 2. In order to show our N per twice a year, we need to divide by 6. And again, our negative PV. Okay. Now if we only want it to be once a year, we're going to do the same form. We've got PMT, interest rate, and per. We're going to divide that by 12. And then a negative PV. And there you have it. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and go through our amortization table again. We start with our principal, and we're doing monthly again here. Great. Fully lock that. Divided by 12. Our per, our specific term, we want to lock just that D. And our N per, that's already in months, so we'll just fully lock that and leave that as is. And then our negative PV again. Again, move your formula over to the side. Same amount, we did it correctly. IPMT, ending balance equals your beginning minus your repayment. And then you end term one with this amount. You begin term two with the same amount. Click it down, 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 and down. We got a zero at the bottom. We could do another check again. This one is optional, but it does help if you're a little shaky on this concept. And that matches perfectly with our payment. So last thing to do is our total interest. All of our amortization tables are done the exact same. Now, if you don't feel as confident with this topic as you would like, feel free to schedule another session with your tutor and they'll be more than happy to help you. But until then, good luck on your exams.